that goes <coughs> this year. Okay, here we are. Very good. I'm ready to go. I'm extraordinarily prepared today, you guys. I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> um, I'm a gamer. All the things that make me a geek, there are a lot of things that make me a geek. <laughs> Nothing is more important to me or brings me more joy or is more fundamental to my identity than playing games with my friends. Uh, I started playing D&D &D in 1981, 82, 83, somewhere around there. I started with the red box set. Yeah. The first character was a wizard named Gandalf who died and like the second encounter of the Keep on the Borderlands. <laughs> That's how it happened back then, you guys. The wizards were squishy. <laughs> we didn't just respawn after we wiped. Like, that was it. You were dead. And you had to go sit down and figure out what the hell you were going to spend your Electrum piece on. <laughs> Uh, for the five of you who are old enough to know why that's funny. <laughs> so a couple of years ago, thank you. That's weird, you're all sitting, sitting together. <laughs> Good for you, don't split the party. So, uh, I, was, uh, I was at Gen Con in Minneapolis a few years ago, and, uh, and I put together a little, a little chapbook of a lot of things that I had written about gaming, and it's called Games Matter. And the thesis of the book is that games are important, games matter. Games are how we tell stories. Games are how we get together to be social with each other. They're, games don't need to be competitive. Games should be an experience where, where, where the journey is so much more valuable and important than the destination, uh, where uh, we can turn off the television and get offline uh, and, and, and get together and, and do something that really matters. And um, I, really, I really love it. And uh, these are all essays all about that. And I had intended to only release this at Gen Con, uh, uh, I guess, in, in, I think this was in 2010. Um, but it was, uh, it was so well received by everyone that I'm actually in the process of converting it into an ebook that should be online in the next couple of weeks or whatever. So if you like a little bit from here, yeah. you can get it there. Um, but I just wanted to read you two short pieces from that. One is, is about uh, uh, analog wireless gaming, which takes place with dice and paper. And, uh, and the other one is about video games. Um, so the first thing is a thing called Gaming Monkey. And this was a thing I wrote on my blog in October of 2009. Uh, while my wife Ann and I drove down the freeway today, Just Like Heaven by The Cure came on the radio. This is my first CD, I said. I know she said, you say that every time we hear a song from her. <laughs> and one day, you will hear this song, and I will be here for some reason or other, and you'll wish I was here to tell you. Aww. Yeah, that escalated quickly. <laughs> While we both pondered the macabre nature of that particular thought, I realized that not only was this album forever linked to my first CD player, but it also gave me these hyper-nostalgic memories of gaming with my group of friends in high school. I don't know what it is, I said, but lately...